I'm Joanna Penn from Mystery Thriller TV and today I'm reviewing Lee Child's Worth Dying For. Now I have only just discovered the Jack Reacher books. I kind of, I don't know, I thought I thought Lee Child was a sort of ubiquitous writer and I, I just didn't feel it was aimed at me. And then I picked one up <laughs> and now I'm completely hooked. So I absolutely love the Jack Reacher books. Um, I read this one first and, um, you know, I was, I was sick and I was at home and I just was in the hammock with my Kindle and I basically read it in one afternoon. It was totally brilliant and I went and bought a whole stack more. <laughs> so I'm pretty much getting through all the Jack Reacher books and it, I guess it's the essence of a character that can span a lot of novels um, without being too kind of hammy or whatever. It's just, he's a brilliant character. Um, you know, you, you, you just respect his morals and also he's got this ethical sense of justice which I think we all would like to be able to act on. So he's almost a, a fantasy sort of hero who can take revenge, kill people here, there and everywhere who are really bad people and therefore he serves justice for all. So let's actually talk about the book worth dying for. So the book opens as, um, you know, Reacher arrives uh, in this small town and rocks up at a motel, very soon becomes embroiled in a local domestic violence um, thing where he basically just goes and, and punches the, the husband on the nose in a bar and then of course things start escalating as he gets involved he finds out that these um, these guys have sewn up the town basically everyone is scared of them and they've got these um, you know football player guys that go around beating people up and they basically rule this town like a little mafia and one of the mysteries of the book is we see this this white van there's a shipment coming um, of what I'm not going to tell you because that's kind of part of the, the mystery I don't want to do any spoilers but we see how these guys are running the place and the, the evil things that they've done over the years and I guess one of the things is that this little girl had disappeared and um, Jack starts to investigate that. So basically as he's helping out the sort of oppressed townspeople we see the bad guys starting to escalate the violence to come and get him. Um, it even goes all the way to Las Vegas where the, you know these mobsters of different levels send all these people to this little town and we see the sort of interplay of, of gang violence and um, see I'm smiling but it's like a it's really fast paced, a um, lot of fight scenes which are very well written and I, I just really enjoyed it, I was really taken out of myself, the story um, really engages you, you really care for the people in the town who are oppressed and you're rooting for Reacher to take them out basically and I mean I'm not going to tell you the ending but essentially there's a lot of empowerment of the people who've been oppressed, um, there's a shocking sort of finish as you find out what's in the white van and what those people have actually done in the town over time. Um, yeah I really enjoyed it so definitely again um, reasonably high body count but a lot of fist fights and um, shooting and um, you know good stuff. I definitely recommend this book worth dying for and I recommend um, pretty much, not that I've read them all yet but I would pretty re much recommend you try any of the Jack Reacher series um, because of the, the other couple that I've read so far I've really enjoyed them as well and I think really the backbone is that sort of um, Lone Ranger type of character that, that Reacher is. So thanks, I'm Joanna Penn from Mystery Thriller TV.